What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today in this video guys, I want to talk to you about four different strategies that I love to use in order to make more money. So let's go ahead and explain to you guys these four different strategies you guys can use to make bank and let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to try to start keeping these videos shorter so I don't lose you guys. Let me go ahead and get out the ADHD notes. So the first one we want to talk about is arbitrage. Now there's different protocols you can do this on. We're just going to use this example of the Luna B Luna R. As you can see here, a lot of times the B Luna price actually trades under the price of Luna. Now when this happens, all you need to do is swap one Luna for one B Luna and you will actually get more in this scenario. Now, right now it's actually above price, so you will actually get less. So, well actually no, look, I'm still getting more. Typically the ARB is more. Typically it's something like a C Luna. C Luna is the same junk different day. You can actually turn this back into Luna. It just takes a 21 day process. But as you guys can see here, if I wanted to swap some Luna to C Luna, I would get a bonus amount of Luna. So I'm happy, you're happy, we're all happy. So let's move along. That's one of the simple examples of an arbitrage opportunity. You also have tomb finance. Like this is the tomb uh, pegged stable coin or algo coin, whatever you want to call it. And sometimes when it goes under peg, you can buy it. When it goes over peg, you can sell it. Now, this one's a little more risky than something like a Luna, B Luna, but it's not as risky as doing something like a tomb or like any of these other tomb forks. Because um, at least Harry is buying up the dips on some of these. Now, eventually there's going to be a day when that's not going to happen. That's for a later conversation. But in general, this is a another arbitrage opportunity. Now, the last one is actually just looking on different exchanges. Let's go ahead and give you an example of ThorChain. As you can see here, for the most part, they all trade around $12. Yeah, $12, $12, $12, $12, $12. Nothing crazy, nothing crazy. Uh, same. Wait, this one's $11.97 on Tokenize. Whoa, hotbed, it's only $9.61. Oh, but you see it has an asterisk, so maybe it's a delayed price. So in order to find out, you literally just visit the website and check it out. But then you see, whoa, Binance Dex, this is 1180. Wow, let me check this out real quick. So we're gonna click on it. You can see here, as it's loading, Binance Dex, here we go, I understand. Okay, cool, cool, what's up? Oh, it actually is 1180, what the snap? This is really cool, huh, interesting. But is it really 1180? You need to figure out if you're depositing on here. Is it the native rune? Is it a BEP2 rune? Wh what's going on? Like you, you need to figure out is there, sometimes there's a reason why there's an arbitrage. For example, for ThorChain, there is a reason for the arbitrage because the exchanges don't accept native rune, but the exchanges have the BEP2 rune. So it's kind of like a give and take right there. So it's only a one way ARB. If you want to learn more about the ARB, I made a video on it. You guys can go check that out if you guys want to look at it. But arbitrage is the first strategy. Now the second one is finding the next narrative. Now I can't stress this one enough. I mean, it's, it's hard to find the next one, but when you find it, you'll know. Let me go ahead and give you a couple of examples. Um, let's talk about GameFi. Now everyone was like, okay, GameFi is gonna be huge. This is gonna be amazing. I mean, we're already playing video games and we already have people in other countries looking to make an additional income. And GameFi was just one of those things that could solve that issue. Because, I mean, I'm already spending so much time on these video games, like why the snap shouldn't I just get paid for it? Well, that is where GameFi can come into place. And on top of that, you're playing all these games and the, the, your friends, they stop playing. And it's like, dude, what the snap? I just got all these items. I finally, I finally got the full dragon armor and you're quitting on me? Dude, I just spent like six million hours doing this. So then what do you got to do with that dragon armor? Well, you can't do anything. Whoa, you could sell it for RuneScape gold. Well, what's, what's that going to do for you? I mean, everyone's playing World of Warcraft or P. Diddy. And it's like, what the snap? This stinks. So that is where I saw the narrative for GameFi. Now, I thought it was gonna take off back in 2020, but hey, you can't pick them all. So finding the narrative and finding that catalyst. And what happened to be that catalyst was a mix of COVID and Axe Infinity blowing up. So something to keep in mind. Now, let me give you another example. Let's talk about 
interoperability, like Polkadot, Cosmos. Okay, what are those catalysts? Well, everyone's already bridging to all these chains. It's really slow. The process stinks. And you always get your funds stuck. And then on top of that, I mean, they occasionally get hacked. And it's like, what the snap, dude? Why am I doing this? Well, that's where Polkadot and that's where Cosmos and that's where those narratives come into play. So then you kind of see that narrative and you catch it before it happens. So like if you lost your funds on a bridge or got hacked, well, dude, take this to your advantage to be like, oh, this is how I can do better. Now let's give another example. Protocol on liquidity. Ohm forks. Why is this one powerful? Well, while we were out there yield farming and like just destroying each other and I'm dumping on you, you're dumping on me and we're all getting wrecked. Well, then we have this thing called protocol on liquidity. It's 3-3, baby. We all cooperate and we all coordinate and we all win. Well, no, it's not always the case, but you see how this narrative comes into play because all these farmers, they realize they're like, I got wrecked. You got wrecked but there's a way we can all win. In reality, no, not really, but still. Anyways, you guys get the point. I need to give you guys another example because I want to stress the importance of this because when you time the markets right, it is sauce. <laughs> um, the next one is the curve wars or the curve narrative, or at least you can call it the VE model, brides, whatever you want to call it. We saw a curve going nuts in hand. This was a catalyst. This was like, hey, look, curve, learn. The VE tokenomics work. So what happened? Anchor comes out with them. You got Mirror. You got Platypus. I mean, you, you can name a bunch of them. And what would happen is if you figured out the next one that was going to follow that catalyst or like convex buying curve and it's like, oh, wait, if, there, if this is the next curve, what's going to be the next convex? If this is the convex, well, I need to buy this, especially when it's suppressed. Just things like that. When you have a narrative, you can make the play. Or even the layer one trades like Matic went nuts and ham. So people front ran Avalanche. Avalanche went nuts, nuts and ham. People front ran Phantom. Same junk, different day. Calculate the narrative, capitalize on it, and boom, done. So again, to sum that up, you need to determine if it can capture the value and figure out the narrative. All of these were able to capture some value. All of these examples at least. Now the next way you can make some cash is putting your collateral or your idle assets to work. This is like your Bitcoin, your Ethereum, your BNB, wh whatever you want to call it. I mean, you just got a bunch of assets. You don't know what to do. You're holding it because you're like, it's going to the moon. Well, have fun. You can do that. Awesome. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lend out my assets that are going to the moon. And then I'm going to go and borrow some stables, play around in DeFi. And while those assets go to the moon, I'm going to take these stable coins and speculate on some other junk that I want. Now, I don't over position myself to where I'm like, I'm borrowing 99%. And if this goes down 1%, I'm losing all my moon bag. No, I don't do that. I play it safe. That way, worst case scenario, I can always pay it back. So that's how I play with the idle assets. So I let them earn a yield and keep playing the game. The last one, guys, I want to talk about is airdrop coins. Okay. I can't stress this enough. I talk about several different ones in the Digi Squad Discord and different protocols you can go on and how you can get these different airdrops. But guys, don't sleep on airdrops. Let me just give you a couple of examples. Neta, this sucker was like 20K. Osmo, like 5K. Juno, like it was nuts and ham. Ion, also like nuts and ham. Shade Protocol, also like nuts and ham. The point is, is like these airdrops are super lucrative. You just have to capitalize on them and figure out how they are going to be dropped. How do you do this? Well, you just get in these discords, you research, you figure out what they're doing, when the snapshots are, how they're gonna make the snapshots, how's the community, what's the history of the coin? Let's give an example of Cosmos, for example. How many airdrops have they given? Like, I can't even count it on my hands because I don't have enough hands to count it on. That's how many airdrops Cosmos gets. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Don't be that guy. Look, you see Juno, it's nut airdropping like nuts and ham. What do you do? Oh, well, if it's airdropping nuts and ham, 
I think I'm just going to get some Doge because I think Doge will give me an airdrop because Juno won't. Because Juno's already got like 20 of them. No, look. Why did these coins airdrop? Well, look at Cosmos. All the different chains that are built on Cosmos, they pay homage back to the Cosmos coin. And how they do that is say, hey, Cosmos, thank you so much here. Just take some of our tokens just for staking. We love you. That type of thing. And it gets them good within the community. Same thing with Juno. All the projects launching on Juno. They're like, Juno, thank you so much for your decks. You're so awesome. We just want to get good with your community. So what do we do? Here's our tokens. Come over. Test out our dApp. Play around with it. It was the same junk different day when Ethereum started. When it was launching the different dApps. You got airdrop, 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 airdrop. Bah, 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 bah. You guys remember Uniswap. Then it was one inch. And it was like, what the snap? It was like crazy all kinds of different airdrops, okay? Just look for what the dApp is doing. If there's a chain and it has multiple dApps launching on it, well, it's most likely going to have an airdrop. Now, if it's just a chain, that's just like a fork of another chain that's nothing special at all, it's probably not gonna have any airdrops. And the reason I say this is something like Polygon, something like Binance Smart Chain. Um, yeah, they are just forks of chains that try to look like a spork. So anyways, um, that's how you can keep that in mind. If you still don't understand what I said, then just look at some of my other videos. I talk about some of them. If you want to get the full list and full details, you guys can check that out in the Discord. I give you guys enough information so you guys can do it yourself and learn how to do it. I'm not gonna feed you the fish. I want you guys to learn how to fish and these are different ways that you guys can do it. Thanks for tuning in guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let's go ahead and leave you guys with a wisdom one-liner. Proverbs chapter 16, verses 9. In the hearts, humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. So true, man. He's got it in his hands. He always does. Oh, by the way, guys, if you didn't catch some of the fish that I gave you in this video, you're still looking for airdrop coins. Not financial advice. Three of them I already named. Cosmos, Juno, Osmosis. There are more, but you can try those three. See ya. You guys can also catch me on tweeters at rent a home fast, like literally at rent a home fast.